happening, sports fans? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-Pack, here with my BFF, the DFS Patriot. It is Thursday, March 3rd. Uh, no baseball in sight, but at least we still got NBA to talk over. I'm a sad man over here, but it is what it is. Hopefully they come to an agreement sooner rather than later. Uh, I played very, very light NBA last night. I tried to get into a big contest like right before lock, but it filled right before I could get in. And of course my lineup smashed. You know what I'm saying? Like naturally that's how the, that's how the beast goes. I mean, I had Brogdon at eight percent, Wendell Carter at eight percent, mm-hmm. freaking I mean the only thing and I sent you my lineup actually. The, right. If I had changed Heald and Trey Lyles to like basically anything else, I mean it could have been a seriously good lineup. So that's the only thing I'm thankful for is that I didn't do that. So, um, right. you know what I mean? So it is what it is. That's the FS for you. We got seven games to talk about tonight. We don't have too much time. I know you got to pick your daughter up off the bus at 3.30. So let's get yeah. after it, man. A uh, few good spots to talk over. Yeah, yeah. And, a birthday, and a birthday boy. Who's the birthday boy? Oh. Tatum. Yeah, okay. With no Jalen Brown. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so first game, Chicago Atlanta. Uh, Chicago, the same the same suspects are out. Uh, they always are. The, the price discrepancy though between the three studs is just the gap is getting bigger, and I don't quite understand it. Well, Levine's price is like dropping. Um, That's what I mean. Like it, he was like eighty six, and yeah, now he's, he's definitely my favorite piece there. I mean, look at that. He was up at nine two, and then at at eight k, like. 32 is not going to kill you. It's not going to win you anything, but 32 is not going to kill you as a floor. That's his floor. That's what I'm saying. As a floor, he's he's hitting value at his floor. And we know he's got 50-plus upside if he gets hot. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, that's, that isn't the same Levine from last few years because they have Vooch and DeRozan. I'm not overly interested in the Atlanta side or in the Chicago side. The Atlanta side is what's interesting with their injuries. Right. Yeah, because Trey is questionable. But even he, besides he didn't, Trey. Yeah. Yeah, but he's like not looking like he's playing. But yeah. no Collins, no Kongwu. So no Collins, no Kongwu makes Capella a lock. Yeah, I mean he has to be right. He's got to play every minute. Because the if it's not him, it's Gorgie Dings. He's not going to play every minute, but I feel like the reason he wasn't playing huge minutes was because of Okongwu. Right, Okongwu was playing good ball. He's young. He's athletic. Trying to see what they have with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think him. And then if you want to take a flyer on someone like a guy like Gorgie Dings. He's a total flyer, but we know when he gets minutes, he produces. And, you know, I, I mean, I'm not saying I don't know. He could be, I don't know, total flyer. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it depends on, you know, he could play 20 minutes tonight. Not that that's guaranteed or whole guaranteed to smash in that time. But, yeah, man, um, Capella looks great. Your boy Bogdan looks great. Yep. He's been – look. he looks even better, though, with Trey out tonight, if Trey's out. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's been really good anyways. Like, man, he looks real good here. Yeah, I mean, he got – yeah, I mean, again, I don't, he should be – the way he's playing right now, he should be 65 easy. Yeah, I agree. I like him a lot. He doesn't doesn't yeah. get a ton of love. I like him more if Trey's out, but I like him either way. Right, yeah, that's not exactly how I feel. Um, and then, so if Trey is out, who takes the biggest bump? Is that DeLon Wright? Yeah, probably DeLon Wright. At 3,100, so, I think he becomes like a lock. Yeah, I was going to say he becomes an uber chalky. Yeah, but he, uh, I mean, I, I, I get it. Yeah. Well, like, that's like, so I play across both sides, so I mean, a little side rant right here, right? So, like, we were talking Gabe Vincent, like, heavy yesterday, right? Right. So, played him over on FanDuel. What do you think his ownership was? Low. 9%. Wow. I was like, did I, I was like, did I miss something? Did we miss something? Like, he was priced at 4200 I was like, what did I miss? I mean, clearly... I missed because I played Jimmy Butler, but that's a different story for a different day. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. So Memphis, Boston. Um, so I think it was I think it was Time Lord who told Ja he better not try to come inside tonight because it's going backwards. <laughs> so th- this game, uh, this is gonna be a real fun game for me to watch as a fan. But I agree. I don't know. I mean. I just, I mean, do you think, I don't know. I mean, I think like, I'm playing Jaw if I'm playing anyone on this side. I mean, I'm not not playing Jaw because of what Robert Williams said. Oh, God, no, no. I'm just saying, like, that might give him a little extra pop. Yeah, I mean, he is balling right now. 
Mm-hmm. Obviously, never like going into Boston, but like no Jalen Brown. I don't know. I don't love the spot for Morant, but obviously, I like Tatum a lot. Pairing them together makes sense. Yeah, I get it. I mean, what do you? What, do you, what about your boy? Well, Jaron Jackson, his price has dropped. Has yeah, it's it has. It wasn't he seven something. Hey, he was so seven. Up, hey, I'm my mind. But he's been so bad. Yeah, he's so up and but down. Look what, look what the reasoning is. Five fouls, five fouls, 20 to 26. Three, five, like three fouls, 32. Like if he doesn't foul, he plays. But he can't help himself. Yeah, exactly. Uh, classic GBP boomer bust option. Yep, exactly. Um, all right. And then my side. Uh, so no Jalen Brown. Thank God. I hate him. Be mm-hmm. gone. Get traded in the offseason. Anyways, despite the point, um, I, I like the birthday boy. You know, it's his birthday, and then on top of that, no Jalen Brown. His usage is going to be through the damn roof. I, I like the spot for him. Yeah, a lot of the uh, Celtics look good. I mean, yep. Tate looks great. Horford looks good. Your boy Robert Williams looks good. Yep. Mark Smart. Even Derek White, man, I'm telling you. He'll probably step up and st- I would assume he would start. That would be my guess. So at 63, he's probably more cash play. But, you know, they have to make up for a lot. Jalen Brown shoots the damn ball way too much. So, I mean, obviously take out that. But like 16, 24, like, so those shots need to be dispersed between other people. And that, you know, and he, he brings a ball up the majority of the time, too. So, like, there's a lot of stats that are kind of, you know, in the wind that'll be up for anyone to grab. And I think, you know, a guy like Derek White, you know, obviously Marcus Smart, um, they're going to take advantage of that. I agree. I also really only think the priority is Tatum. Yeah, I think for me, it's, I like Tatum and Time Lord best, but when do I not like Time Lord? So Yeah, exactly. I mean, Horford also. Yeah, but they're just, they're monitoring his minutes. Like, I know the last couple of games he's played, you know, he's played some big games, but he's missed games in between. You know, he sat there and watched a couple of games. Yeah. So, I mean, they haven't played in two days, so I'm sure he'll play his normal allotment of minutes. I mean, he's played 32-plus in four straight. Yeah, but the thing is, so he missed the game on the 28th. He didn't play. He sat but, on the bench. So when he plays, he's playing big minutes. Right, exactly. But so at that point, though, I think I'd rather play a white or a smart at the same exact price tag, essentially. I get that. I'm not sure about that, but I don't. I don't have strong convictions either way. At the end of the day, yeah. I do think Tatum and Williams are the two best, but I like Capella more than Williams at their price points. Yeah. Well, and you know who's going to be a, a sneaky? It's it's a long shot. So like, I wouldn't like if you play like 20 lineups, maybe play him in one is Naismith. Every, last year, when when Jalen Brown was out, he would get some of that run. And even in the times that he's played this year, he's gotten some of that run. Yeah, so he do anything with with that run? I, he puts the ball up. Yeah, he, he's I not mean, afraid to shoot the damn thing. Like you said, if you're multi-entering and you need a 3,300 guy, and the rest of your lineup's chalky, do your thing. Right, and I'm saying like again, if you make 20, maybe throw him in one. Mm-hmm. All right, next Atlanta, Brooklyn, Atlanta. I mean Atlanta, Miami, Brooklyn. Uh, Jimmy Butler can pound sand. He absolutely ruined him and Trey Lyles ruined any chances that I had last night. Um, I, I, I didn't watch the game, but from that game log, he must've done absolutely nothing. If he plays here though, what about him? Do you think he plays? Oh wait, I got to go back to Memphis real quick. Oh, a guy. I mean, Steven Adams. Yeah, dude. I was surprised you didn't say anything about him, but I was like, all right, carry on. We just went too fast. Like, yeah, he continues to just play really good ball. I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. And he played his prep ball about 35 minutes from Boston, too. So his old prep coach is still in the area. Now, I wouldn't – I actually play – I used to play pickup at the same place that he went to prep school. And he would, him and he would be down there. It was him and Beasley were on the same prep team. They ranked, like, two in the country. And – uh, No, no, no. Um, Michael, Michael Beasley. Beasley. What? Yeah. Michael, Michael Beasley. Beasley. Okay. And they would just sit there and they would just like laugh at us. Oh, you know, we're a bunch of like, we're a bunch of squids at this point. Like, I'm just like this, right. you know, 20 year old kid. And like, but that's, that, that's yeah. a different story for a different day. But yeah, so 
his his coach is still in the area, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't I don't hate that call at all. Yeah, I'm a fan of Stephen Adams. You know, based what he's what he's been doing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. All right, so yeah, so back to Miami. So Butler's questionable. Lowry's out. Oh, Depot's out. Tucker's questionable. Martin's questionable. Strauss questionable. I mean, who is in question? I mean, do you, do you just go right back to? I'm going right back to Gabe Vincent. Yeah, I mean, especially what, if Butler's he has done out. nothing but ball. Especially if Butler's out. Well, even if Butler's in. Yeah, if, I'll tell you what. If Butler's in, I like Butler a lot. I, well, I think he's going to be like the Anthony Edwards, where he rubbed people the wrong way last night. No one's going to play him tonight. I agree. Remember that night? We, you know that night that we were like, "Oh no, no!" Like, like Edwards' price is too cheap, and he was like, "What, like seven percent owned that night?" Right, you're right. So I think it could be a similar situation. I know, like for me, like I'm bitter about Jimmy Butler still, but different story for a different day. It doesn't even uh, matter. Bitter about him, all that matters is what happens tonight. Exactly. So I mean, all right. So if Jimmy's out, right? So is that uh, is Tucker? Like, let's think about this. So he's he's questionable. I really wouldn't be surprised if he sat. Agreed. Martin is questionable. Then Achilles. Ugh. Achilles, that could be that. Could, that's a hit or miss. Struess is shoulder strain from I don't know from what. He doesn't do anything. Um, so I mean, does it make you like a guy? You know, obviously, if Butler's out, Hero and Hero looks really good too. Agreed. It's just hard to talk about Miami right now. We'll really have to wait and see. Right. Right. And I'm, I'm this time. I'm, I'm keeping my phone on the alerts so that if anything crazy happens mid show, we can just talk about it. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Speaking of speaking of speaking of crazy, Willie Cauley Stein just got released by the Sixers so they could sign DeAndre Jordan. Anyways, uh, all right. So Brooklyn side of the ball. So KD's playing tonight. Uh, Irving's obviously out because it's in Brooklyn. Simmons is out. Drummond is probable, so he's in. I I feel like this team is priced appropriately with with KD playing. Agreed, and you know I don't really want to play KD on his first game back. So Brooklyn's out of play for me in a tough spot against Miami. Agreed. All right, uh, Detroit side. So Detroit, Toronto. So Diallo's. Is he gonna play? He's probably. He's in. I thought he was playing. Bagley is doubtful, and Frank Jackson. I don't care about. So I mean, your boy Kelly O. How did he do last time? He was fine. I mean, nothing yeah. special. Not playing enough minutes for me to want to go back there. All right, forty seven hundred too. I mean, he's 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 more expensive than uh, Gabe Vincent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jeremy Grant played know. well. Yeah, yeah, he. I feel like he has been a little bit. Him and Sadiq Bay have been like taking turns having a good game. Yeah, the minutes were up too. Um, uh-huh. I could easily see him having another good game. He's my favorite piece of Detroit. Yeah, Toronto's just such a tough spot to play in, I feel like. I don't know, though. Is it, though? No Van Vliet? Like... No, Van Vliet's in. Oh, he's playing? I thought they said he was doubtful. No, hold on. I start. Hold on. I'm checking right now. I literally saw it probably two hours ago. Yeah, I thought it said unlikely, but I probably read it wrong. Uh, Let's see. It remains questionable, so. Oh, so we're both wrong? We're both wrong. <laughs> Stop it. Good teamwork. That would happen. We're just... We're just supporting each other. That's all it is. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, right. it's crazy. Yeah, so I mean, Killian Hayes went bananas last game. Do you see that? No, I didn't. I mean, like his, his like return, his return on number wise was like he was like the top like point per dollar play. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that happening again. Although he's been pretty good the past two games. I was gonna, and he's getting a lot of minutes now. He just doesn't have he a high could, usage, but it is. No, he is. could he could be a tourney flyer. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'd rather play him than uh, Aaron Naismith. Yeah, me too. Retweet. Might not see the court. Yeah, I hope he doesn't, just so I can get your text. <laughs> um, uh, no, I hope he plays and wins you a tournament, and then you're texting me all night about it. Oh God, you'd be like, you'd be like, shut the fuck up. I know, I'm happy, I, but I'd shut the fuck up. Put you, I'd literally mute you. Um, it's okay. I'll hit you up on Facebook. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. Other than that, from Detroit, I do like Jeremy Grant, but 
he's not a, like an ultimate priority for me. The Toronto side is much more appealing. Yes, the Toronto side is. So, Toronto side. Okay, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so Siak, I mean, Van Vliet is questionable. Ananobi's out. Thad Young is, what's his deal? Questionable, but usually when you're old and you're questionable, you're out. Due to an illness. Oh, oh OG's out now? OG's out, yep. When did that come out? The, the same time that he was that Van Vliet was questionable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that now. Um, okay, so Scotty Barnes and Siakam. I mean, this is a great spot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we, Detroit is uh, – I don't know. Detroit is terrible. I mean, so, I mean, it would not surprise me to see them absolutely go bananas. I mean, if Van Vliet's in, I think he's too cheap. I agree. But that's a big if if he's in. I feel like they've been very cautious with him. One of these games, I think Siakam's going to go nuts, too. Yeah, when the hell is it going to be? Because uh, I'd like to know. I'd like to know also, but, I mean, <laughs> I have enough faith in him. We've seen it before. It's not like it's like. Yeah. It's not like it's out of the realm for him just to, to go off. I mean, go the past, like, go a little bit down the game log. Right. When you say out of the realm, I mean, go down a little bit even more. Like, yeah, he's like, going straight 40s and 50s. 60s like right this isn't like you know what i'm saying like i don't know yeah uh, yeah i mean he's uh, not like too cheap but i still think he's a good a great play with van lead out a good play with him in yeah i agree i mean and i think you know now you know with with og being out i think you know, like you kind of talked about like you know the trends in the barns of the world like your boy precious and balling too yeah he's coming off a stinker though I, but before that, he was absolutely going bananas. But again, the minutes are inconsistent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and then and the other thing is if Van bleeds out, I think you go right back to Malachi Flynn. Yeah, definitely. Like, if, if he's – if Van bleeds out, and then if – what's his – oh, my God. I'm drawing a blank. Um, I don't know. I'm forgetting who it is. But anyways, oh, if, if Van bleeds out – and Trey's out. Like you could easily go Delon Wright, Malachi Flynn, and Gabe Vincent because Delon Wright has shooting guard eligibility too. Yeah, most definitely. And then you just get whatever the hell you want for the rest of the night. For sure. Um, for all sure. right. Golden State, Dallas, Golden State side. Clay's playing tonight, right? Yeah, he's playing. Okay. Yeah. So Clay's in, Dre's out, Wiseman's out. Damian Lima, boy, what happened to you? Questionable with it. Quadricep can toot. You got a bruise on me. He balled last night. Nothing I like on Golden State. I can make this real simple. Wish I played him last time. I, I, yeah, say, I always say I like him when Clay's out and then I never play him. Well, I mean, it depends on how big the slate is, right? True. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm not touching. I don't like them with, with Clay in. No, it's Curry's really too expensive. How about Dallas? Just saw that Kleba's questionable. What about Luka here? Priority for you? Not a priority because of pace of play. I feel like I'd rather play like Siakam and Tatum than Luca and Six K guy. Although you can make would, a reasonable case for that, though. You can make a reasonable case for both, but I mean, again, especially if, if Van Vliet's ruled out, like Siakam and Tatum, like you that all day instead of Luca and whoever. Right, but it's not like that. Siakam and Tatum are cheaper. It, it's not like they're seven K. I mean, they're no. It's just your two by two. Like, what two by two do you want? Like, but the two by two, the guy you're getting with Luca is still good. Like that's right, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, right, right. He's a six. It's like Luca and Barnes. Right, right, right. Which in that case, and then you get a real question. Like that's a real question, right? I mean, right. right. And then comes down to personal preference. Luca's, Luca's twelve two. Barnes is six four. So that's yep. uh, eighteen, 18 six. Yep. And Tatum's ten, ten, and Siakam's nine two. So it's actually more for. So you can get someone better than Barnes. So you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Like that's a real question, you know? It's a, it's a huge like, question. All of a sudden, if Barnes outscores Siakam, you know what I mean? Like, you're sure true. it's Tatum could outscore Luca, but the chances are he doesn't. Right, right, yeah. I mean, it, it it'll be tough, especially again, especially if you know what's his face is out. Um, Lee? yeah, I think it gets even harder if Van Vliet's out for that two by two. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I agree. Because, like, I like Siakam either way, but I like Barnes a lot more if Van Vliet's out. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, like, that changes. Because Siakam's going to get his regardless. Right, it doesn't matter matter what's on the floor. 
I don't think I'll play Luca here. These teams just played. They beat Golden State. I don't know. I'm not going to spend and, up on Luca. Other guys I like more. No, and the pace is just so slow in this yeah, game, I too. Mean, I'd rather pay for Deontay Murray in the next game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be no defense in that game. Yeah. Deontay Murray if, has been if awesome. If is out, real quick, sorry. If Kleba's out, who are you going at? Powell or Bertrands? Neither. Neither. Okay. I just wanted, didn't know who gets the bump. That's my more was my question. I mean, I don't know who gets the bump. This is, does it matter? No. It's three it's thirty three though, so it's it's you know, this person or Aaron Naismith. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, probably that person still. <laughs> exactly. I'm not, I'm, saying. <laughs> I'm not um, even kidding. <laughs> I know you're not kidding. Um all right, so next game, Sad I mean at least and... that person's gonna play. Like that's true. That's true. That, or what if the Celtics do something crazy, like they start him and bring White up the bench still? I, then I still don't like him because he's, like, with all the starters. But he, then you, at least you know he's going to get minutes. Right. I, I mean, the, the floor is going to open up for him. Or oh, oh, uh, Udoka's going to be like, homeboy, you sit in the corner. He's not you starting, shoot. though. We're wasting no, he's time. not. No, I'm playing Pipe Dreams. Yeah, you are. I don't even know why you want. That's not even Pipe Dreams. Like, do you want this dude to start for you? No. I just – I like him. I think he could yeah, shoot. he's fine. Um, all right. If so, you hit someone on another team, he'd be irrelevant to you. Correct. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like irrelevant. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even think about him. It'd be like Mo Harkless. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> uh, he's um, better than Mo Harkless, but that is what it is. Although Mo Harkless has had a nice career. Um, yeah. This game has a lot of appeal. I see Jeremy Lamb popping a bit. Really? Yeah. I mean, 3,900 hasn't been great, but like. He's he lo- his game log looks like Olin Olinux and he's a thousand cheaper. Yeah, that's true. That that part I can get on board considerably. Do you think a lot of people will go back to the Trey Lyles? Yeah, I do. Oh my god, dude. I I, te- I mean, how many times did we say to each other via text last night, he's a trap? Well, I told you on the video, I was like Sabonis, like well, was in foul trouble. Trey Lyles sucks. Like Yep. I don't know. But At 4K you know- though, if he's starting, I mean I'm not doing it tonight. I probably won't either. I just I I probably won't either, honestly. But I get why people will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I was so mad at myself because I literally was like I was talking to you, I was talking to a couple of my other boys, and I was like, you know, as I'm building and talking about, you know, plays and whatnot, like that, he's a trap. He's it a trap. is he's a trap. He's and not as much of a trap tonight though, because he's a little bit pricier, which stinks, but that'll cut his ownership and he's also coming off. Like he was a major trap last night. But this is one that's tough because if he drops that like thirty four, you're gonna want him paired with like Luca. You know what I mean? Like right, right, right. You need that. That's where like, you know, you need that. But honestly, that's like his upside, and now he is four K. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm not paying four K. I'm for I'm passing on him. I'm good on him. Like I like Sabonis and Fox from Sacramento. Lamb is the guy I'd, I'd fill in with. Um, Trey Lyles just sucks. So, yeah, these guys lost run because they got rolled in the second half. Don't like the back to back, but I'm a huge Sabonis fan. Uh, I think that his ownership is low because he's like right by Tatum. So, yeah, I mean, I played him last night, and uh, you know, he started off so hot in the first half, and that game was tight. And I was like, oh, I think I got him at like three percent, right? Or something stupid. Like, and then, and then, like when they got blown, I was like, son of a, like here That's it is. Things, and then De'Aaron Fox also. I mean, those are the two guys I like. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think if I'm going for this team, I'm going to those two. I'm not really – I understand the Lamb the and the Trey Lyles. With, with those two is, it's like – and this is what we run into every slate when they're on it. When I'm using those two, I want the stud from the other team, and that is just too pricey. Like Fox, Sabonis, and Murray is, like, cuts off everything. 30000 Yeah. Literally 30000 of your of your $50,000 salary. Exactly, with five spots left. Right. That, yeah, it's too much for me. That's what I'm saying. So, like, that's really what's kind of keeping me off them. Murray looks great here, though, dude. Oh, my God. I mean, he looks like he's in a prime spot. Like, if there's enough yeah, value Pol- to come out. Oh, I was gonna, that's what I was going to say after you were talking about um, him. Like, Podal, dude, is – like, these two have a good little thing going down in San Antonio, and no one really knows much about it. I will say, though – well, the people that I don't know about it because the Spurs stink. Well, that's I will what I'm saying, say, though. As Murray, like – I kind of like your portal more than Murray right now. Like Murray's in a great spot, but he's got 40 plus 40 in three of like four. And 
at 10 6, that ain't cutting it. Not that I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be a game log chaser, but it is a little bit of a concern. There's so many good point guard options. We got LeBron on this slate. Um, I like Murray, but I don't think I'll play Murray. I'll put it like that. Yeah, I, I think um, I I'd play him over Luca though at the same price at the different at the different prices though. Oh, I would agree with that. I would absolutely agree with that. Just pace of play, competition wise. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else you like from San Antonio? Sacramento, San, eh, San Antonio? Mm, not really. Kelvin Johnson. Yeah, I just never like him. He's a fine He's filler. Yeah, I'm, I'm not just, about it. Moving on. Yeah. All right, uh, so then we have the Lakers Clippers. So is LeBron playing? He was, like, actually questionable. He always plays, man. All right, fair enough. So Horton Tucker is, let's see, what's his deal? Probable, so he's in. So everyone, essentially everyone except AD is in. Yeah, Malik Monk back in, back in the rotation, I'm seeing. About time. Yeah, right? Like, I don't know what the hell took him so long. Like, what what was working so well with Avery Bradley running around the floor and doing absolutely nothing? It honestly depends on their starting lineup, though. They might start Zubac tonight. I mean, they might start Dwight Howard here again. Well, they might have to because Zubac is a problem. Right, exactly, dude. So, I don't know. The only guy I feel comfortable with on the Lakers is LeBron, but I do see this as kind of a LeBron going off type spot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's You tough don't play tonight. LeBron a lot. I, I I do, but like like tonight with you know with the guys like the Tatums of the world and like I, I just don't think I get to him. It's not that I don't like him, I just don't think I get to him. Yeah, I get that. Click on this game log real quick. Yeah, I mean there's nothing in there that makes you like you have to play him, but you know right. And we just saw this matchup too. Trust me, I know he can burn you like if you don't own him on any given night. Oh, yeah. I had a, a New Year's. I had was in first, and all I needed was LeBron, like, not to go absolutely eight shit. He dropped 80. They put him back in when they were, like, up 30. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Five. Dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. And they rolled him. They steamrolled him. He brought them brought. He brought them back. He was he was brought back in in the fourth quarter when they were up 30. Oh, my God. That's a, yeah, that's I was still in first at that point, until that point, and then I got passed. Oh, that would have lost my mind. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You probably text me about it too if I'm. If yeah, I'm about sure. It. <laughs> um, Unless right, I was so, just so salty about it, but yeah, I like LeBron, but I guess you don't need much from this game. I mean, it's a late night hammer. I, know, I don't know. What about the Clippers? I mean, Clippers set. So like, you got the norms out for them. The normal people out. I mean, your boy is just playing so good right now. Like, yeah, but that's all against Houston, dude. Well, that's Phoenix, so. You know, yeah, and he didn't play it. He barely played against the clip. Like, I don't understand that. Like, this man's playing good, and then you're like, ah, nope, go back to sub-20 minutes. Yeah, that must be the right? ultimate mind screw job. Does that scare you there? Kind of. How could it not? It was against the same team. Well, and the other thing is, too, is like, is it because they played LeBron at center that forced him off the floor? I don't know what happened there. You know, but like that, I guess that's my question. Like, who was playing center that scared – you know, what's his face off of Zubak on the floor? Yeah, he had, was a little in a little bit of foul trouble. I don't know how that game played out, but that could easily have been the case. Um, yeah. Man, that's scary, but I do think in tournaments he's. Yeah, cause, I mean, look at the, the upside is clearly there. Oh, uh, yeah, clearly there. No doubt about it. Um, so. I'm also seeing Hartenstein at 5K is like getting good runs. Yeah, again, it just it just sucks. The center eligibility only is just. I know. It's such a kick. He man. played twenty eight against the Lakers because he's much what? more like athletic. Right, but like again, like it goes back to was it foul trouble? Was it? I can't face? trust either of them here. There's two. That's what I'm saying. Capella, Robert Williams. I'm not using either of them here. Yeah, Jacopoto. Like there's just yeah. too many. Agreed. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know. I... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just saying, I don't mind, like, filling in with a guy like a Covington if you have to. Oh, same. He's playing well right now, and he's a very right. high type guy. He's a really nice fill-in, I think. Right, and at 4,200, I mean, the last three games have showed you nothing, but, like, he could fill in perfectly. Definitely, but I will say, like, it's not surprising if he throws up, like, a 12. Or, or an 8. Right, and, like, that right. sucks. Right, so, I mean, I think at that, at that range, 
Yeah, I'm probably going more Monk. Like, I'll pay the extra 500 for Monk. I agree, but, you so, know, different range. Like, in different, so different position range, different fields, yep. Yeah, so, like, I mean, I get both of them for sure. But I actually like Monk to have a score that could, like, be needed for the slate. I don't think right. Covington, like, is ever really putting up 40. You know, Monk oh, no. is probably not, but much more likely to because he can get hot. Oh, God, yeah. All right, so if I'm building now, let's go. I'm going to go Tatum, Siakam, Gabe Vincent. I mean, I don't think Butler plays here. That's what I said. Like, and if he doesn't play, give me Caleb Martin and Tyler Hero. And then it's looking like. Well, Caleb Martin's uh, forward eligible too, so like put him there. Yeah, put Hero at shooting guard, Caleb Martin at forward. Um, um no, you would Martin forward. I want Capella at center. I would like, um, and man, this might almost be damn. If this gets me Malik Monk and Steven Adams, <laughs> lock it Let's in. See. Uh, it definitely does. It's exactly on, dude. Uh, yep. And if you really want to play Horford, you can play Horford. I think I like Adams over Horford, but I like both. So yeah. there we go. That, that worked out way too easy for you. Way too easy. All right. So, again, we're going to go under the same assumption that here uh, Jimmy Butler's out. So I'm going to go – what do I have on my ear? Let's check it out. Check it out. So Gabe Vincent. I don't know. I have a feeling that Trey's not going to play either, so I'm going to throw DeLon right in there. A guard, and then center. I want to go like uh, this. Uh, I, I want to play both of them. I'm gonna try to do it first. And if Capella doesn't, if Capella has to go in, he goes in. Like it's that simple. Um, power forward. Let's see what's his face. Uh, let's see, power forward kind of blows. Um. I'm gonna go. Oh, can I? Can my guy go there? No. Nope. So 57 and power forward leaves me who? All right, so that puts me off of either Tweedledee or Tweedledum here. Um, I don't. Who do, Who did we like at power forward besides what's the face? Uh, besides Siakam. I guess I have to put, I'd have to put a guy like Covington in there. Yeah, sure. And then I forgot about jumping the off the launch. And Delon Wright. I forgot about them. Right. So, I mean, here, so this is a spot where if I got off Podal, let's see if I, if I go Capella instead of Podal, that gives me a 62 guard, which is, I think it's, that's smart. Uh, nope. No, naturally he's 64. All right, so. Malik Monk here. 15. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do you see this? What? If I jump off of the pellet here, I'm 100 away from. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah. I mean, I drop off Robert Williams personally, but that's just me. Yeah. Who's who's that? Six? You don't have Caleb Barton in here as a value piece if you want it. Right. Oh, I could go there. If, instead of going hero, I could go Caleb Martin. Which should allow me. I mean, it's probably a crazy thing to do because hero's going to be super popular. Yeah, and I wouldn't I get do that. It. Um, I don't know. Whatever. You guys get the general idea of where yeah. we're trying to have with this. Yeah, so whatever. It is what it is, but yeah. 
you guys get it. I know you got a roll. I got a, I got a meeting at three 30 anyways. So about time to wrap it up, man, you got anything else for this slate? No, that's it. Um, you know what? I forget who exactly who it was, but shout out to whoever the hell that was. It took down three K last night, almost taking down that big tournament. Saw that. So congrats Always on that. A nice hit. Uh, appreciate the shout out. We're around for questions. Um, the right up will be out at normal time. We'll be back on here tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you for coming out with me and have a great night guys. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks.